Hello everyone, Toruk81 here again with another figure review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Marmot Monster Heaven Howling Desu Goji. This is actually the first one of the Howlers, the very OG for the Howlers. This is the second sculpt for Marmot as far as the Desu Goji. The difference here, the main difference here, is that this one is considered the Howler got the name because he's got an open mouth on him. Unlike other open mouth skulls that Marmot has, this one is actually hollowed out. So it doesn't have any kind of filler here, it's just hollow, very nice, very epically done. This guy's cast in yellow vinyl, it's got this very nice green spray or green color, I'm not sure if that's meant to be a green colored paint or if it turned green maybe it was blue but against that yellow it turned you know green but it's super epic super righteous now this is from Godzilla 1995 Godzilla vs Destroyer a movie that very very sad movie you know the, the ending of the Heisei era epic battle one of my favorite movies very awesome if you guys haven't watched it watch it check it out it's super epic super awesome now one thing to note on these guys as Rick Easel pointed out these spines the dorsal spines the middle row is actually smaller than the two outer rows see that still looks very epic very nice I mean you would expect there to be some kind of difference between this and the original Desu now I have a number of these in my collection, I was going to do a big collection style review as I've been doing, but I decided to give each and every one its own time and space. Plus, there are a couple that I have that I don't have the complete, you know, story on. So, I'll be doing them individual for you guys. Here's the header for him. 2010. Again, this was the first release. There you go. And this just says... Godzilla on it so again that's why I like to place in the in the bag you know a little piece of paper that'll tell me what it is and I just pretty much put yellow howler so it's very nice the way they did this since it's a yellow vinyl all they really did was spray this red circle around the yellow for the vinyl which gives you that patch it's very epically done I'll take you a closer look right here for the eyes as you can see very nice right there it's got that red with the gold iris very sick black lines it's very nice the way they get these eyes painted it's very small space there and it's just very nicely done now I'm gonna go ahead and measure this up for you guys you guys have seen the last couple of videos we measure them with our handy dandy measuring tape this guy stands at nine inches exactly Lengthwise, we're looking at about 10 inches, so it's very epic, very nicely done here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little comparison here for you guys. I thought it'd be appropriate to bring out the Desu Goji, a scope that we're more used to. Very nice. Now, one main difference, I mean, yeah, it's a completely different sculpt, you know, there's no real similarities in the sculpts here, but one main thing to notice when comparing these two is that this guy has six points of articulation, this guy only has five. The difference is that this guy has an articulation point or a seam, as I would like to call it, right around the neck, this guy doesn't, it's just solid right there, so this whole piece is molded solid through to the base of the tail right here but still it's very nice very epic and again it's the original howler so I'll be bringing you guys another another eight howlers after this um, again I didn't want to do that major review with the whole thing just bring you guys a bunch of smaller reviews and focus on each individual figure so again this is Toruk81 hoping you guys enjoyed this new review I'll be bringing you a couple of different ones for the same scope now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our camera and bring you in for our customary closer look. And you guys can see the eye. Very nice. 
All the teeth are individually painted on this guy. Very sick and epic. And it's got like a bunch of different layers of that paint. The green or, or, or blue paint, whatever you want to give it. It's darker in some spots, it's lighter in others. And I just like, like Rick says in a lot of these things when it comes to the painting, it gives it more personality, a little more depth. There you go with the light behind them. He actually does shine through. It does make them a little brighter there. It doesn't come out as clear there, but in my, in my display case, I can definitely tell. Thank you guys for some nice shots. Again, you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys would like to see for the next review or anything different that you guys might like to see. Very epically done in the dorsal plates right here. Very nice. Very, very nice. For now, you guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of your figures. Keep the kaiju faith alive. We'll see you guys in the next review. Goodbye.